Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. To reach me or our chief trader, Al, to discuss specific investment ideas, please call us on 781-380-8888. You might also want to look at uh, updates on our website, which is www.waterscapital.com. Uh, I'm going to be talking about inflation over the next few days, but I want to start out talking about why gold continues to do well, despite the fact that other people think it ought to go down in price. The reason is very simple. Demand for gold is growing. Supply is contracting dramatically. Supply is also dramatically affected by ongoing fears of nationalization. In other words, countries are starting to demand higher and higher percentages uh, of the gold mining product. So in other words, if you had a deal for 50 years that says you can, you can pay the government 15%, the government <coughs> in some cases is unilaterally upping that to 50 or 60%. So are you going to spend as much money on mining? I don't think so. <coughs> and I think a lot of people are starting to reassess the political risk in the kind of developing countries uh, that have gold <coughs> as a prominent factor in their mineralogical base. So what this means is we're going to continue to see gold in a strong position. Regardless of what happens with stock or bond markets, gold is going to be a premier part of your portfolio, again, for 12 to 20 percent of your portfolio. We also have some fixed income ideas, uh, and we spoke at great length uh, about our gold views and platinum views on Friday to Kitco. Dot com. And if you want to look at our uh, interview in detail, <coughs> please please do that. Uh, one of the other points <coughs> before we get off the dangers of of uh, <coughs> of uh, nationalization is that in South Africa, Zuma used to be Vladimir Putin. Zuma used to be Vladimir Putin. In other words, Zuma headed the secret police for the ANC. So we know that he, therefore, as a skilled intelligence operative, has a whole skill set uh, that uh, enables him to do a lot of things that perhaps a regular politician might not be able to do. But it also tells us, since he was in charge of enforcement and making sure people in the ANC towed the party line, as it were, um, that he has a streak that might, in polite circles, be called dangerous. And so we're asking you to keep this in mind when you think about South Africa, and you think about South Africa's future, and you wonder why Nelson Mandela did not want Zuma to become president of the country. <clears throat> now, in addition <clears throat> to uh, the above factors, we see um, platinum uh, is uh, going to be <clears throat> having a difficult phase because um, Platinum is European dependent for its demand, particularly in European automobiles. And as that sector contracts, we will expect platinum to uh, decline. Palladium, on the other hand, is an entirely different story. Um, the prices have held up. There have been some strong finds in North American uh, uh, palladium sites, particularly in Canada. And so we see that we expect uh, platinum to have a very, very strong next two quarters in terms of price appreciation. So we ask you to aim for the ice flows, <clears throat> pardon our allergies this morning, and uh, have a great day. Keep swinging.